सिक्सटी सिग्मा आर सस्पेंडेड बाय स्ट्रिंग्स ऑफ लेंथ एल फ्रॉम ए कॉमन पॉइंट ओके दिस ए कॉमन पॉइंट एंड आर इन फ्री स्पेस वर्ड इज मीडियम सराउंड दम विल बी फ्री स्पेस द पार्टिकल्स आर इन इक्विब्रियम द सिस्टम इज इन इक्विब्रियम नो द वोल सेटअप इज इमर्ड in a liquid now the whole setup is immersed in liquid of density rho and the relative permittivity epsilon r the particles are the particles again the particles again attain equilibrium with angle between the strings remaining constant how much it was 2 alpha now also 2 alpha find the relative permittivity of the liquid this has to be determined is a very good question uh, related to some practical very good practical information uh, i think you are unable to weave it uh, okay i think th this will be sufficient okay, lo looking at the <coughs> looking at the first diagram let, let me are, are you seeing that blue color the blue color surrounding medium is what the liquid is what i am indicating by the blue color in the background that is a liquid okay let's go for the forces that are acting electrostatic repulsive force the weight and the tension in the string similarly on on this also the forces acting are the weight w the tension t1 and the electrostatic force let me call f1 initially there is a condition now looking at this diagram what we can write it as t1 sin alpha equal to f1 t1 cos alpha equal to w so tan alpha equal to f1 by w that is the initial from the first case okay let's come for the second situation from the second diagram the electrostatic force acting will be given by this then the weight then the tension T two, T two, the angle between them remains same, so therefore this will be still alpha. Now the new electrostatic force, let it be F two. Apparent weight W dash. What is W dash? Will be apparent weight. W is actual weight. W dash will become apparent. Why apparent weight? Because here Bayan force will act, upward thrust, weight, actual weight. Minus of upward thrust. The resultant of that should be the apparent weight here. So there, there's a bind force, no? So the actual weight, actual will be vertically down. The upward thrust or bind force, the upward thrust will be upward. The resultant of that two, those two forces should be the apparent weight, and they should be actually vertically downward. Okay, at equilibrium, there's at equilibrium initially. Because at equilibrium only we wrote this one, no? Similarly, <coughs> at equilibrium here, so T two sine alpha should be equal to F two, should be equal to W dash. I'll divide these two. Tan alpha should be equal to F two by W dash. Equating one and two. So I'll end up with the F one by W, F two by W dash. So what is F one? Uh, what will be the, this separation? Since the length of string and angle between the strings will remain same, so the separation also will not change. Let it be x. So then the equations will be looking at the first diagram. Look at here. What is the first diagram? There's a free space. What is the interaction force? Q square four pi. F not x square w q square four pi f not f not r x square w dash. So 
So therefore this F not R should be equal to W by W dash. What is W? Mg W dash will be Mg minus upward thrust. What is M? Density of the spheres, small spheres be sigma, volume be Vg. Now what is what is V? Volume of point charges. What is M? M is mass of point charges. So finally, the expression for relative permit will be sigma by. <coughs> uh, this, I think, will be very important. What is this quantity? Is a upward thrust or bionce, you know? <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, this is upward thrust or Bionic force, relative permittivity of liquid. Mm, I think the so I I I can measure very easily. I know density of the the point.